And you heard the runners talking about just how warm it was out there. It can be unusual for November. Vanessa Murdoch is here with the details. Vanessa, as promised, that warmth was there. We also got a little bit of a cool down with the rain. Yeah, the rain certainly helped keep things on the cooler end of the spectrum, the clouds as well. But we still set a new record in Central Park today with a high of 75. The previous record, 74, set back in 2015. Today it felt more like September the 20th. But this was not the warmest marathon on record. That was 80 degrees long time ago. As we look at other areas that did set or tie records today, LaGuardia tied the record at 75. I slipped 74, broke the old record of 69, shattered it essentially. And in Bridgeport, 72 sets a new record as well. Tomorrow, another potentially record-breaking day at LaGuardia. JFK with highs in the mid-70s. I slipped two mid-70s. Bridgeport in the low 70s. It is very much possible we'll see a record broken there as well. Beyond the warmth, record warmth, what can you expect? Very mild tonight, some more showers anticipated. Early commuters might need some wiper activity to happen, but overall, your day is shaping up beautifully with quick clearing, bright and warm Monday, much cooler midweek with a rain risk that could be significant Saturday, Friday into Saturday, rather, with a little bit of an tropical influx of moisture. As we look at temperatures right now, 64 in Monticello, 66 in Babylon, 72 in the city. We see some showers trying to make their way in at this hour, not very successfully, but overnight there is still that chance as a slow moving front pushes through the region. By tomorrow, again, record warm possible, but that cold air starts to filter in and Tuesday we'll be feeling a seasonable chill. Hour by hour, let's show you how it looks. Again, overnight, still that chance for some showers around midnight into the wee hours of the morning. By 8 a.m., the wet weather is moving off the east end of the island. Skies are clearing. Most of your Monday will be bright. Tuesday as well. Wednesday, too. It is Thursday. Late, the clouds begin to build, and Friday, the rain rolls in. Here's why. We've got two systems that we're watching in the tropics. This one right here with the 90% chance of becoming a named system. Well, it will be traveling toward the continental U.S. and will feed moisture in our direction as we get toward the end of the work week. Here we are Monday. Watch what happens. It circulates toward the Florida coastline, and then as we make our way Thursday into Friday, it begins traveling up the coast along a cold front, and you can see here just how much moisture gets fed into the the region. There is the potential Friday into early Saturday for some flooding rainfall, something that's still a ways away, but we will certainly keep a close watch on. Tonight, 66 degrees, another mild night with those spotty showers early, maybe a leftover shower east, but generally it is going to be beautiful with that potentially record setting warmth, low to mid 70s out there tomorrow. Now your extended forecast. Much cooler Tuesday. Election day will be bright, beautiful, but 58. 55 on Wednesday and mostly sunny for Thursday at 63 with late clouds. Then again, Friday into Saturday, unsettled Veterans Day into the start of next weekend. And then temperatures will be crashing by Sunday with highs only in the 40s. So a 30 degree swing between weekend to weekend just is what we anticipate. Wow. All right. Culture shock. Thank you, Vanessa.